Hello, today I'm going to show you some preliminary steps for mental math which are going to help you in school or as you're doing your homework. This is not going to be a totally mental step, but a partial mental step to help you to just solve problems as you're working through calculations. Okay, now I've written down some examples here and you're going to have these on the board to follow. First one's going to be 27 times 96. So what you're going to do, you're going to write that down on paper and you're going to start going backwards. Now, as I've always talked about, mental math is best done from the from the um, left to the right, but when it comes to writing things down, you have to go to just start from the right side, hold numbers in memory, and work your way across to the, bear, to the very end of the equation. Okay? So write this down, 27 times 96. So what you're going to do, you start on the right side with 7 times 6 is 42. You're going to write down the 2 and you're going to hold the 4 in memory. Then you're going to uh, cross these numbers. You're going to look at the uh, 6 times 2 and the 9 times 7. Okay? And so cross those numbers and that makes 75. That's a combination of 50, excuse me, 63 and 12 is 75. Okay? And you already have the 4, so that's going to be 79. Put the 9 down and hold the 7 in memory. The last part is going to be 2 times 9, which is 18. 18 and 7 25. Put down the 25, and that's your answer. It's 25, 92. Pretty simple. Next one we're going to do is 67 times 51. Again, starting from the right side, 7 times 1 is 7. Write down, write down the 7, nothing to carry a memory. Then doing a cross of 5 times 7, which is 35 plus 6, because 6 times 1 is 6, which is 41. Write down the 1 and hold the 4 in memory. The last part's going to be 6 times 5 is 30 plus the 4 is 34. Write down the answer is 34, 17. And last one will be 84 times 72. Again, it doesn't matter how big a number is, it really talks more about the technique. So, if you look at 4 and 2, that's 8, write that down, nothing to carry. Then doing your cross, you're going to have 7 times 4 and 8 times 2. Okay, And so, if you have two numbers like that, you've, you've got uh, 28 and 16, that's going to be 44. Put down the 4 and hold the 4 in memory. Then the last part's going to be 8 times 7 is 56. 56 plus 4 is 60. Write down 60 and your answer is 6048. Okay, see how that works? Now, this technique can be done with any number. The steps are the same. What you do again, you look at the numbers on the right and you put down the, the first digit, hold the second number in memory, and cross, multiply, and add. Put down the next number. If there's something that's, you put down the uh, the ones. You hold the tens in memory and add to what's what's left at, at the next step. Okay. Now again, I want you to go over this this video, look at this again, practice these techniques, and add this to your mental math acuity. Okay. Thank you for watching, and you have a great day.